Woods has come under fire after a customer raised concern about a surveillance camera positioned in the women's changing room. A picture of the camera at the Pavilion Mall store in KwaZulu-Natal made the rounds on social media this past week. Security has been tight there after a number of suspicious devices were found at that and other branches in KwaZulu-Natal. Now, Woolworths has maintained that the camera is merely there. It's fixed and only looks at the entrance to the change room and not inside the actual cubicles. It says it's to monitor that staff are following correct protocols. But just when and under what conditions is it acceptable and what are the rights of those consumers? Joining me now from our Cape Town studio to unpack this is consumer journalist Georgina Krauth. Georgina, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now, this story went viral pretty quickly. Um, Woolworths moving very quickly to say, oh, but this is standard practice. What did you make of it? I don't uh, see a problem with cameras in the clothing, in, in changing rooms, uh, because those cameras are actually not angled at all towards the cubicles. Um, I myself have been into a Woolworths store and I checked, uh, checked the, the various changing rooms. I also went into the security uh, offices and there's no issue. Honestly, people have nothing to worry about. The cameras are not able to move. So they are, t they are focused specifically at the entrance and where the, the tickets are handed out so that they can really just focus on uh, what, what their staff are doing and obviously to limit theft. Now, now, obviously, some people would have been quite concerned by this because they said if they hadn't noticed it before, could it be possible that there are cameras inside those cubicles? Those would obviously uh, be an issue from a legal point of view if there were cameras inside the actual cubicles. Yes, there would certainly be an issue if there were cameras inside the, the, the changing rooms. Uh, but they aren't, um, because we have a right to dignity, but the Consumer Protection Act also says that retailers have an obligation towards consumers in that it needs, they need to protect uh, consumer security and they also need to reduce uh, the costs, because if, if they didn't have those costs, then more things would be stolen, those costs would be passed on to the consumer. Now, I've been in changing rooms, fitting on clothes, and you're in a women's changing room. There seems to be a little bit of comfort that women take on that, and somebody will stick their head out there in their bra and their underwear to ask one of the ladies working there, please, can you get me a bigger size of this? Uh, do you think retailers are doing enough to tell people <laughs> that in as much as you have a right to privacy inside the cubicles, we have security cameras in place, so keep, please keep that in mind when you're walking around in your undies looking for a bigger size or you're asking your friend, to come and look how something looks on you. Do you think enough is being done to make people aware of that? Possibly not. I think, I think you, you're pointing, pointing to a very important issue there. Um, we shouldn't really be walking around in our underwear in the, in the changing <laughs> rooms. The cubicles are there for your privacy. Beyond that, you don't have a, a, a reasonable expectation that, that someone's not watching. You've been watched wherever you go, um, in, the, in the shops, in the streets, um, you have a reasonable expectation, though, that your, the cubicle will be private, and, and it is. And now, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> OK. Um, uh, in the age of the digital um, news making the rounds, we had a consumer who was concerned. She took a photo, she put it out there on social media, and this thing went viral. And a retailer like who was very quickly had to send out a statement, had to put out fires, had to try and explain, no, this is what it actually does. It does make life very difficult for big organizations like that um, to have to explain itself uh, against a, a large tsunami of opinion uh, from people who are just looking at a photo and not seeing how it fits in in the bigger picture, as it were. I agree, I agree. And um, I think we, we're very suspicious, and there's not necessarily a need to be so suspicious of a big retailer like Woolworths because it could not possibly put its reputation at risk and open itself up to lawsuits because imagine if there were actually cameras spying on people in cubicles. That would be a big scandal. Mm. But this is not, this is not it. 
Um, if uh, we've got viewers watching right now and they have now finally decided, oh, I actually need to be more aware, um, what do they need to keep an eye out in terms of their right to dignity and their right to privacy when in public spaces like a big retailer? Well, in the, in the cubicles, um, you obviously... You have you have the the curtain separate or the door separating separating you from from the area that is possibly um, being filmed, but there is only one staff member watching watching in the security offices, and I don't think that people should go around prancing prancing around half naked either. It's not only about the cameras; it's about other people. You don't necessarily want to be walking around in your bra in front of men, so. And, and if they were to find something or notice something that they feel um, uh, might not be correct or legal, what would you suggest is the best way to bring it to either the retailer's attention or an independent body? Well, if, if you're spotting cameras in, in, a, in a changing room like that, then I would call the manager. I wouldn't just put it out on social media because... It's not to protect the retailer, it's just don't, don't cause a frenzy unnecessarily because we, we tend to overreact sometimes. Okay, well, we'll leave it there, short and sweet. Uh, consumer journalist Georgina Krauth giving us some interesting insight there from our studios in Cape Town. We thank her for her time.